Hello, welcome back to uh, Swindon Station for uh, what effectively is going to be November's update. Okay, so um, pretty much for the last month or so, um, I've been laying down uh, the track. Obviously, you saw that I had the loop installed, um, which was great, so I could actually run uh, the first lot of um, uh, trains that I had. Um, the one there you see was the one that I modified to DCC. Um, and since putting in some uh, new traction tyres on that unit, um, it's been running quite well. Um, I've only got three carriages on there at the moment and a dummy, but I have had up to uh, six carriages on this with a dummy, and um, it, it does okay. There's no real issues. So uh, I'm quite pleased with that one. So I thought what I'd do this month um, is basically I'll show you around. I want to try and get uh, some ballast set down on these, I think. Because um, these have been sort of as is now for about a month or so, two months. So I'm thinking of doing this one first. Because that would be the most difficult to try and get to and uh, get into all the corners and stuff. Um, and then I'll probably do this uh, this one here, which is uh, Platform 2, I believe. So we'll probably get that done. I'll put some uh, sleepers in here. Get it all tidied up up to the point. I'm not going to go too far because uh, at the moment I'm unsure as to what to do with this one. It works brilliantly with uh, DCC. Uh, it's an um, insole frog um, point. Um, no issues whatsoever. I don't need to put any banding in or anything like that. Um, it, it, it does what it does. You, know, you switch the point and I don't lose any power loss at all. Um, so at the moment I'm still unsure whether to leave it as is because it, it works or whether I need to um, do anything to it before I sort of commit and put bars and everything around it. There's no point motors on this one at the moment, it's just done by hand. But there is a point motor I've installed onto this one, excuse me hand, and uh, I believe uh, this one here, that's got the second point motor in and they work uh, pretty well, fantastic actually. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple of droppers here. This is my first <laughs> attempt at soldering. Uh, it's a little bit messy. I think what I might do is uh, I'll, I might come back to that and just uh, take them off and redo them, tidy it up just a little bit. But what I've done on this side is I've effectively put a set of droppers, uh, as you can see from the top there. On track that one there, one dropper. Droppers on that one, droppers on this one, and there will be a set of droppers going onto this line because this line is effectively the old sort of I presume they call it a branch line. I might be I might be mistaken, but effectively I've made this one so when it comes around, it'll go into um, this building. Now I don't know an awful lot about this building, um, other than it's it's obviously. On the map and everything, um, I think it's part of Network Rail. Um, but what I've done at the moment is I've, I've had a go at uh, doing a bit of um, concreting. Um, it's not turned out too bad. I've uh, just painted it a dark grey for now. Um, the, the weathering will come a lot later, unfortunately. Um, my aim is to <coughs> buy a little air compressor of a paint gun system. Um, and then I can do a little bit of uh, touching up and weathering and stuff like that. Um, again, it's all going to be sort of self-taught, so it's a big learning curve for me. But uh, essentially, this is my first little bit. Obviously, I made a start on this. Um, it needs to be sanded down at some point. Uh, but I'll, I'll get that sorted out. There's a bit more to do. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not looking too bad. Um, obviously, this building being the way it is this will be scratch built as well um, there's nothing that I've seen so far in the market that can duplicate the building that stands here at Swindon um, so this will be scratch built but it's got to be honest with you not going to be this year it's probably going to be looking into sort of February March time before I even contemplate doing um, the build from this but that's where it'll go eventually I know uh, Got a bit more to do here, but I'm going to bring this base out by uh, 
I don't know, probably about 10 inches or so straight across. Just to bring that out, tidy that area a little bit. Um, so we can finish off this, this corner. I can put a bit of foliage and a bit of scenery and everything on along here. But it all works, it's connected up. I've had uh, the locos coming back and forward, uh, just to obviously test this bit of track. And I'm really pleased actually, it's quite good. This is my <laughs> little tester, just to make sure things are uh, going quite well. But uh, yeah, that's all wired in. That's an old DC loco I'm using for this particular line. Um, again, it works well. These were the old Hornby uh, points um, that I had when I bought a, a bunch load of uh, track on eBay. And what I've basically, I wasn't going to use them at, at the time, but what I've done is um, I've cleaned them up. Um, I've got into in here, I've cleaned all the, the points where obviously these blades will touch. They've all been cleaned up. Um, I've put in a couple of these uh, little wire fixers, so it allows the electricity to go from here to here. There'll be another one that goes into there, just to give it that extra bit of uh, confidence that you know, if these don't quite sort of uh, make the connection, there will be a, a feed through here sort of thing. Um, there's no droppers on this because obviously it's an insel frog type design. Again, they both work. I've had them all running. Uh, this has all been built up. I've just got to do a few little tweaks and then um, they'll be probably ballasted at the end of the month. <clears throat> but it gives it a little line. And again, another old uh, Hornby point that I've used. Because this line isn't going to get used that often, um, I didn't think it was worth at the moment putting in any pico um electrofog points in um, these seeds we're doing the trick you know um pretty well and uh again everything's a budget so um i'm, I'm just going to go with that at the moment but it all seems to work okay so uh the bit i'm tackling at the moment is uh, these two points uh the one in the middle of your shot there uh, that's sort of semi-installed. I've just got to do a, a little bit of an alignment correction on it. I mean, they are an absolute pain in the arse to put in. Um, again, learning curve, watching many of uh, the videos that are online. You, you've probably heard of Everard Junction and um, Gleb Road. You know, they, they talk about these these points and stuff like that. Um, they are a bugger. But once they're in, it's fantastic. You know, they, they work really well. Um, I'm just having a slight issue with this one here at the moment. It just doesn't seem to want to line up. Um, I think it's probably because the thickness of the board there, I've got a supporting beam underneath. So it's double the, it's like, what, two to three times the thickness. And I think when you put the motor on it, um, it doesn't have as as uh, rigid as movement on the on the tie bar that goes up through. Uh, I don't know if I can show you from the because it's quite dark, but uh, you can see a little bit there. I mean, it is literally right on the edge. Um, so I'm not too sure that I may take that tie bar out and uh, put a slot in it or something, or come up with a, a new way of just put, supporting this part, just so I can get that seat motor back onto the top. I think. <clears throat> but it's it's all in hand, um, so I'm not going to ballast all the way up to here. I'm going to leave that on blank at the moment because I may need to remove that. I'm not sure yet, and just uh, reconfigure it slightly. But yeah, I mean, um, as you can see, it's moved on considerably from the the last video, and this is all running track. Uh, obviously, this is part of the loop. Um, this will soon be part of the loop once I get this point fixed once that's up and running and uh, eventually as that turns around goes around the corner piece, apologies for the darkness yet again I'm, I need to uh, get the lighting sorted down here but uh, yeah this this line here will basically join onto the main loop um, and I'll, I'll sort everything else out at a later date I, I'm still undecided at the moment as to what to do with the rest of the layout uh, other than this bit here 
will almost definitely be a country scene. Um, and I'm looking into the possibility of doing an incline probably around here, take it up slightly and then bring it across and just mix and match, try and get a bit, you know, try not to keep everything flat, put a bit of uh, dimension into it, some hills, some scenery, you know, maybe even a tunnel. Um, we'll have to wait and see. So, um, anyway, <coughs> that digressed. So today I went out, bought some bits and pieces, um, ready for doing my ballasting. I've got uh, the uh, Wooden Scenics um, medium grey blend. Maybe you can see that. Um, but it, uh, it's got two little colours in there. So it's quite good. And I'm also going to try out some of this Gauge Raster uh, granite ballast. Um, the idea behind this is basically to um, give that sort of pre-dirty look of the, the ballast on, it, on one of the tracks. Um, I'm going to do a bit of experimenting before I commit, but I'll uh, decide whether to put that on, on, the, on the main line or on the branch line. Um, not sure. Definitely probably platform two, because that does get quite dirty. So uh, it'll be a bit of an experiment. But more often than not, it'll be this stuff. As you can see, it's got two different colours in there. With a max, and obviously this one's a little bit more darker. So it's something to play around with. See how we get on. Uh, so yeah, um, oh these these bits are basically what I've been using for my uh, point motor connection. Um, I got these off uh, eBay. They're they're pretty good actually. They're inline splice connectors. I don't know if you can see that very well, but they basically they fold over so we can get one out. And these have been shown on many other people's videos, so I'm not going to go into how to install seat motors and stuff like that because there's plenty of videos out there, and I'm not an expert by any means. But uh, essentially, they will they will clip over, clip onto the main buzz cable, and then you've got a, a slot in there which we will uh, use one of these spade connectors on. So you can take your feed, and it's all insulated, all got covered up and everything, so. Ideal, really, pretty good. For the point motors, um, because of all the wire and everything that comes off them, the associated uh, switches, um, the, the, the feed to neutral, the uh, frog, and um, possibly the DCC positive negative, um, instead of me soldering them and putting loads of these other sort of crimp things on, I've decided to try and put these in place and basically put all the uh, wires into one side. And put the second lot onto the other side. Um, it just makes things a little bit easier to to sort of connect up. And also, should they fail, you know, I don't have to fight about sort of getting things undesoldered or anything like that. I can just unscrew them, take them off, put a new one in, and uh, we can keep going. I mean, eventually, I'll I'll probably put like a decoder thing in where he has like a capacitor, so it could throw these over. A little bit faster and I, I believe it prolongs the life of these seat motors um, I haven't bought any yet but I've been advised that you know that they are quite a good investment to have so that's further down the road but again you know with the use of these I can just sort of add in the wires and connect it up and it'd be you know a minute's worth of job so so there you go um that's pretty much the layout as it stands at the moment um, oh this is my little control box. Uh, basically, this is an old modem box, believe it or not. It was found in uh, uh, one of the stores that I used to work in. Um, they didn't want it. So basically, um, I took out the old board, chucked it in the bin, and then got a hold of this. And uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it does quite well for what I, what I need for now. Um, it might not be brilliant, but there's some of my attempts. Um, these are all soldered in, and I've actually got heat shrink on right up to the the points. Uh, I just put the tape on there just to give it a little bit of rigidity. 
so they don't get sort of too damaged. Um, and obviously they've got a, a loop thing on there that feeds in from this one straight down. It feeds all the others that they're negative that it needs. So that's my control system at the moment for me, me points. Um, I think the power's on. Let me just have a quick check here. Yeah, so I think if we go to that one up there, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, and then the next one. Here we go. So they're working quite well. The other two. Uh, one of them's working, you can't see it from this side, but it's the top one. So they do work. And then the bottom one, I've obviously got a wire in, I've got a few issues. But there we have it. Um, so I think what I'll do is um, I'll crack on now. I'm going to attempt to try and do some of this ballasting uh, on some of these lines. Um, I'll, we'll see how we go, and uh, we'll, we'll get back uh, real soon. Okay, enjoy. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hello, uh, welcome back. Just from the station. So, uh, it's Sunday afternoon now. And uh, as you can see, I've uh, just made a start on getting some of this ballast put down. As you can see, there's uh, two different types. Uh, I've gone for the... Uh, Obviously the Gauge Master stuff where it was slightly darker and give that sort of dirty look I've put on this old sort of branch line thing that, uh, that I had built. And then what I've done is I've put the uh, the newer medium grey ballast onto the actual platform lines themselves. All by a platform two. I've uh, left that ones in a, a dirty. Track and uh, ballast, and obviously going on to free and uh, after why I haven't done yet, but obviously free. That's all uh, laid down now. Um, it's not glued at the moment. This one, um, because I've had to put some clear varnish onto the the uh, the edge coping um, slabs that run all the way along the platform. Get the clear varnish on that. Once that's dry tomorrow, I'll uh, then be able to spray um, the water uh, onto the ballast, and then uh, apply my uh, PVA for water mix with a little bit of fairy liquid in it, just to break down the surface tension and stuff. But uh, yeah, not look too bad. I've got uh, obviously one of the differences between the the good the the good stuff and the old sort of ballast is a uh, Bit of a sort of borderline that goes through. Um, I'll tweak that at some point. But as you can see, these two lines, and obviously the third one there, yeah, they're not too bad. Yeah, it comes up quite good. Uh, it's quite cold in here today, so the chances of this stuff setting within 24 hours is probably going to be marginal. Um, so I'm, I'm Obviously, I'm in work for the rest of the week anyway, so it'll get a chance to uh, to settle, and uh, I'll probably have a go at this tomorrow. Get this platform free line, get that going, and then what I'll do is I'll just uh, put a little bit of a mix in between just to fill in those gaps. But yeah. It's taking a little bit longer than I planned. Obviously, um, it takes a bit of time to get everything into place, get all the loose stones off, and just basically gently tidy it up and stuff. And what I found is basically when I put the uh, where's that tool? When I use uh, the applicator, you fill it up and you sort of run it along. Um, does a fairly good, good job obviously then you have to use a brush of uh, some description just to sort of brush all this the stone off the track sort of thing um, and uh, off the the edge of the uh, 
uh, wooden there, various things as well. But uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's I think it's done a, a relatively good job. Um, time will tell when this actually sort of settles and dries. Um, and I'll basically clean up the truck and uh, do a quick run. But everything seems to be okay at the moment. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to carry on. Uh, I've got a few more bits to do on this truck here, just to get it prepared. And uh, hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll um, pop a video where I've got probably one or at least two uh, locos running through through the station, uh, just to make sure things are okay. I, I haven't done the points yet, um, because th this one is a bit of an issue. Uh, for some reason the seat motor just doesn't want to line up correctly so I might have to do something about that that's why I mentioned earlier on in the other video um, but they're, they're in progress I'll get them done sometime in a week or so and then once they're done I can uh, get all that ballasted and hopefully continue it around to the corner to there and then that'll be all that done um, essentially once this station bit is done and the ballast is all the way up to both corners. Um, I'm going to take all the ancillaries off and start looking at uh, getting on with this building. That's my uh, <laughs> my frame for the, the centre building. Um, I've used a bit of obviously a bit of balsa wood, a bit of card, just to give like a wall impression sort of thing. But that's essentially where it's going to sit. Um, it might be a little high, I need to do a little bit more measurements, I think I might reduce it down a little bit, but this will all be painted, and then um, I'll have the, uh, the features and the, and the sandstone and everything uh, finished onto it at a later stage, but it's going to take a while, because um, I'm, I'm not here every day, I'm, I'm away on task quite a lot, so I'm going to kind of do sort of little bits at a time. Um, I just appreciate when you start doing this thing, you know, it does take a lot of time to try and get things perfect. So it's just that as and when at the moment, it's no rush. But I managed to get a fair bit done this weekend, even if it doesn't look it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I'll get back with another video in hopefully a week's time, just to see everything running through here. Uh, I'll go from there. Okay, bye for now.